Ever since Sega went full third party in the early 2000s, Sonic games have been appearing on every console under the sun. Many of the fan favorite games like Generations and Unleashed appeared on PS3, Xbox, and sometimes even 3DS and Wii. But did you know that many of your favorite Sonic games were once planned to appear on even more consoles? Today, we're talking about cancelled Sonic ports. We're going to go through many of the planned ports for Sonic games that just never saw the light of day. So let's just get into it. Let's start at the beginning. Sonic 1 and 2 were fantastic games. Many people automatically think of the Genesis versions of these games when they're brought up, but these also had inferior versions on the Master System and Game Gear. Well, what if I told you that enhanced versions of Sonic 1 and 2 were going to be available on the Sega CD? Sonic 1 for the Sega CD was initially revealed at Summer CES in 1992, which only showed footage of the Sega Genesis game, but it was promised to have updated music among other changes. Then shortly after, Sonic 2 was also rumored to get a CD port, called Sonic the Hedgehog Shark 2 Escape from Ring Zone. Unfortunately, due to the lower success rate of Sonic 2 in Japan, they decided to scrap both of these ports in favor of an original Sonic game for the Sega CD, which of course ended up being Sonic CD. While Sonic 1 and 2 getting ported to the Sega CD would have been interesting to see, it didn't make much sense. Mind you, the Sega CD was only an add-on for the Genesis, meaning that it would have been pointless to release slightly better, more expensive versions of the same game for the same console they originally released on. Combine this with the fact that Sonic 2 didn't see as much success in Japan, and it just kind of makes sense why these were canned. But let's jump slightly to the future to 2006, the year when the fan favorite spin-off game Sonic Riders was launched for PS2 and Nintendo GameCube. This game was famous for its new take on the racing genre. Combine that with tight controls and fun mechanics, and you got one of the best Sonic racing games. However, this game was supposed to have a smaller, much more inferior port for the Game Boy Advance. This port of the game was supposed to be developed by Backbone Entertainment, and would have likely been in either a 2D reimagining of the game, or a downgrade of the game in a similar style to a game like Mario Kart Super Circuit. This port of the game was scrapped due to Sega of Japan requesting a completely 3D racing game. And I for one, am not losing sleep over this. This just seems like it would have been a generally inferior version of the writers that we all know and love. However, due to the portability aspect of the Game Boy Advance, this could have provided a good portable writers experience, but oh well. 2006 also saw the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 also known in the community as Sonic 06. What was supposed to be the next generation of Sonic turned out to be a complete disaster of a game. Releasing on Xbox 360 in 2006 and later on PS3 in 2007, this game had so many issues. Bugs, glitches, the gameplay, the inconsistent story, all of this caused the game to be a complete joke among Sonic fans and critics alike. Which makes it terrifying that this game was planned for even more consoles. Along with PS3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game, Sonic 06 was also supposed to be on Wii and PC. The PC version of the game was teased in many advertisements of the game, even dating back to as soon as E3 2006. This part of the game was cancelled due to the game's critical reception, and if I had to guess, this version of the game would have probably been the same as the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, but probably with better performance. The Wii version of the game is an entirely different story though. Early on in 06's development, which let's be real was probably like 6 months before the game launched, Sega realized that they wanted to make a a unique Sonic experience for the Wii. So instead of making a downgraded version of 06 for the console, they split Sonic Team in half so the other half could go work on Sonic and the Secret Rings. Combine this split with a strict deadline for the game and Sonic 06 was pretty much doomed from the start. But if the Wii version existed, I wouldn't have expected it to be anything else besides a shittier version of 06. I mean, they could have done what they did with Sonic Unleashed and created a completely different game for the Wii and PS2, but that would have taken effort, so it's not likely. And for that reason, the Wii version being cancelled is a blessing in disguise. But the game getting a PC port would have been pretty cool actually. Just imagine the improvements that could have been made to the game through mods. That would have been insane. But at least we have things like Project 06 from Chaos X to fill that void. But you thought those ports being cancelled were bad? Let's talk about Sonic Unleashed's cancelled ports. In the eyes of many fans, Sonic Unleashed is one of the best games in the series. At launch, the game was available on PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, and PS2, with the PS2 and Wii versions of the game being completely different from the PS3 and 360 versions. Most people believe that the PS3 and 360 versions were the better games, which is why so many people have been wanting the game to get ported to PC for the longest time. And this is why it pains me to tell you that Sonic Unleashed was supposed to have ports for DS, PSP, and yes, PC. Yeah. 
That sucks. Let's start with DS. This port of the game was cancelled for numerous reasons, mainly because A, the graphics just did not fit the DS, and B, Sega was worried that the game was going to receive negative reception due to its differences from the console versions. The PSP port was cancelled for pretty much the same reasons. Both of these versions were also cancelled because Sega wanted the game to be exclusive to home consoles. If I had to guess, the DS version would have probably shared many similarities with the Java phone version of Unleashed. Either that, or it might have been like Colors DS, which was just the story and environments of Colors with Rush-styled gameplay. Sonic Unleashed DS probably would have done the same thing. The PSP version of the game would have probably been similar to the Wii and PS2 versions, just with a lower resolution, of course. And as for the PC version, this was cancelled due to time constraints. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't even need to explain why a PC port of Unleashed would have been amazing, though. The game is just held back by multiple technical limitations. Sure, the frame rate issues have been weeded out through emulation, but the game still runs at a very low resolution. A PC port would have fixed all of these issues, so I still really hope we get an Unleashed PC port in the future. But then we jump ahead to Sonic Generations, another fan favorite. This was a celebration of Sonic's past, in the best way possible. This is still considered to be one of the best Sonic games, but that's besides the point. The game initially launched on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. It also had a 3DS version, which is in a very similar situation to Unleashed on the Wii, where it's the same idea, but it's a completely different game than the HD versions of Generations. The main selling point of the 3DS version was the inclusion of exclusive zones. Apart from Green Hill Zone, the 3DS version of the game had completely different levels, which made a lot of people wonder, why are there only exclusive levels in the 3DS version? Well, probably because these stages were also going to appear in other versions of the game. Sonic Generations was also going to be available for Wii, PSP, and DS, and many people speculated that these versions were probably going to have exclusive content just like the 3DS version. But why were these versions of the game scrapped? Honestly, I think they were cancelled because all of these consoles were close to the end of their life. The 3DS was launching around the same time as Generations, so instead of making a DS version of the game, they made a 3DS version. PSP is pretty much the same way, since the Vita launched one month after generations. And the Wii, I mean, I guess it could be because of the Wii U launching. The Wii U dropped a year after Generations, so who knows, maybe there were just some technical limitations when downgrading the HD version to the Wii. It's also a huge possibility that they were under a strict time limit to get this thing out. This was an anniversary game after all, so they had to get it out that year. And while yet, yeah, it would have been cool to see what exclusive content these other versions of the game would have had, Generations is already a great game as it is now, so these ports wouldn't have been necessary. An early development disc of the PSP version was actually actually found pretty recently, but there's not really anything on it, unfortunately. The success of Sonic Generations got Sega to port HD widescreen versions of Sonic 1, 2, and CD to iOS and Android, with CD being the only one to get a PC port for some reason. I mean, that was until Origins dropped, but that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say is, Sonic 3 was also supposed to get an HD mobile port. We can even find footage of a demo of the game online. It was likely cancelled due to licensing issues with the music, just like everything else Sonic 3 related. Yes, I know they eventually changed the music for the Origins version, but this was just for a mobile port, so I don't blame them for not wanting to change the music for just a mobile port. It would have been cool to see, though. And finally, we have Sonic Mania. This was yet another celebration of Sonic's past, but this time, it was an actual classic Sonic game. Classic gameplay, a 2D pixel-based art style, innovative level design, a banger soundtrack, this game had it all. It was released on PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. But here's a fun fact, in the first trailer of Sonic Mania, we we can see that it wasn't initially planned to launch on Switch. The initial reveal trailer mentioned PS4, Xbox, and PC, but no Switch. And you might be saying, well, the Switch wasn't announced yet, so how could they have teased it? Well, in the same event, Sonic Forces was also revealed, and it said NX with all of the consoles, which, if you didn't know, NX was the codename for the Nintendo Switch. But anyway, Sega then realized that Sonic sells best on Nintendo consoles, so they decided to put it on Switch. But did you know that there was a port of Sonic Mania planned? for another Nintendo console? After the announcement of Sonic Mania, developer Renegade Kid offered to port the game to 3DS, but it was canned due to Renegade Kid splitting into two companies, so that sucks. But today, through uh, totally legal methods, you can actually play Sonic Mania on 3DS. 
and Wii U. Since the Switch was launched though, this port of the game has been entirely unnecessary, but it's still cool that this piece of scrap Sonic content was somewhat restored. But there you have it. Those are most, if not all, of the cancelled Sonic ports. While some of these ports would have been really cool to see, a lot of them were cancelled just because they were kind of unnecessary. Why would they spend the extra budget to port a game to a console that didn't need a port of the game in the first place? That's just a waste of money. This doesn't apply to the Sonic Unleashed PC port though, I'm still pretty pissed about that. But that's going to end this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.